So this is number eight, and I'm gonna put uh, some uh, sort of mineral oil, food safe. Doesn't have to be food safe, but I'm dripping it up here. Soup. And just like a That's basically it. Alkyd fail <coughs> paint, and uh, you can almost paint it distressed. Leaving the, the edges unpainted makes them look more torn on the edges. I'm also gonna put some structures on it like I did on this one. And since this paint is, uh, you can see it, it's starting to dry. So I'm just doing something like this. We'll see how it turns out. A bit too much perhaps. <laughs> but I do like it. the sort of structures. So I also did this one. But uh, it flows out. We should probably be doing smaller lines. Or let the first layer dry a bit more. So I'm using this one. The IKEA MOLA. So let's try this. It's like a nice color. I like to leave some of the white shining through. Let's try this one. Basically, I'm using this one metal primer, and uh, it's pretty old. So it's getting, uh, this is the consistent, I have mixed it with uh, some uh, white spirit. So basically I'm just, now I'm just mixing it and then I will just sort of let it rinse down. I'll show you. Then just oops, we got a lot too much there. So it's raining a little bit too fast now. Gotta keep moving. And the best way is if it can rain like this. So this is basically what I do. We'll make a structure that will make it look cool. You don't want to get lumps. You want them pretty thin. But this is getting a bit too much slow floating. You see where when you get too much you get sort of a lump. So I should probably be adding more mineral spirit to this. Might have shown in another video, but this is sort of the result you can get. This is, I think I like it. I like it a lot. Get different colors when the structure is there. So I'm just letting it dry here. And you sort of get the, this result. I'm painting away here at the boards and uh, trying to get 
something that looks decent. This for example looks pretty good. I like the mix here. And uh, yeah. Then we have uh, this one is looking good. And uh, perhaps my favorite is this one. Looks 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 good. That one ain't bad either. And now I put on a varnish here. It's a pretty glossy varnish. But this is what I have. So I thought I'd use it up. It's a, a bit tricky to find the right varnish I think here in Sweden. I would prefer the satin one. Which is a mix between uh, glossy and matte. But... Uh, so this would be a bit shiny and I don't uh, I don't think that looks as good it looks a bit plastic so this is the problem when using the cheap uh, paint from IKEA it uh, I painted this black before you know the the outline here and it it come off when I use uh, the varnish so can't recommend IKEA's paint if you're gonna uh, protect it with varnish or otherwise you have to spray it on. So doing it with a brush now. Otherwise the paint has been good and I like the colors. So I've just been to to Bauhaus to buy this one. Clorlac with a um, matte. Ten in glance verde. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. I did try the uh, I did try this one, but it was too glossy for my taste. So I had to go to the Bauhaus and buy it. 265 crowns for the Becker. Anyway, I don't know. I thought this looked pretty okay individually, but uh, I'm not so pleased with the result after all, but it's colorful and I like that. Makes me sort of happy, happy colors. Yeah, so it's time to glue, oops, glue the, the wood pieces to the big board. And I'm just using this uh, wood limb, wood glue. Uh, and uh, it's for outside use. Whoop up, whoop up, whoop up. And then. Something like that. And. Uh, wow. Well, I put a board to make some pressure for the gluing. So, after gluing all these pieces, I found that this frame doesn't really fit let's get gaps so I can see that I was a bit sloppy here and didn't push it all the way in so this is sticking out so I have to adjust that by jigsawing it off too bad so I just shaved this off looks way better now so the frame is a is a it's a, it's, it's a bit tricky to get the fit i had to uh, saw that off ox all i was having a hard time getting the frame to fit so i had to adjust a bit but the point is it doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't has to be perfect it should look sort of handmade but now i can glue it And here we are, the final result. Yeah. 
So that's it. I have some more videos showing up different paintings, mother, mother things, this bed frame. So check them out. Bye bye. Hope you like and subscribe. Comment. Bye bye.